Hello, I'm Joshua. And I'm Mary, and welcome to From the Heart. Orlando is widely known for its tourist spots and attractions, but many people don't know about its thriving arts community. We are excited to introduce to you talented and passionate artists who shape our arts community. How do they create and why? How can Orlando benefit from an even greater arts presence? On each episode, we'll meet guests who are influential leaders and artists who are truly making a difference. From the heart. Hello everyone, welcome to From the Heart. I'm Joshua. And I'm Mary. And we're excited to bring to you all that's new and good when it comes to the arts in Central Florida. Today we're talking with Jean Columbus, Executive Director of Orlando Repertory Theater. We look forward to learning about Jean and his work and his role at Orlando Rep. Welcome, Jean. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Tell us what's going on at Orlando Rep. Well, we're going to start off by saying that the Rep, Orlando Repertory Theater, are part of the family of all the arts and culture in our community. As I say, a family, we don't share the same last name. We share the same first name, Orlando. Mm. Orlando Museum of Art, Orlando Shakespeare Theater, Orlando Science Center, History Center. Uh, uh, we're all part of that family. And our segment is we focus on the theater for young audiences. And uh, uh, I'll just go ahead and say that uh, besides our, our, uh, our, our productions that most everybody knows about, we have four pillars in which the rep focuses on. Certainly you're aware of our shows, mm -hmm. uh, our field trips. Well over 40,000 school children come to the rep each season to see one of our six uh, productions. But in addition to that, we also have our public performances on weekends, and we're inviting everyone to come down and see those shows. It's a great family outing. The second pillar is we have a, 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 a youth academy, and this youth academy is for, for those that want to participate in productions. So we have a, a wonderful summer uh, musical where uh, seventh to twelfth graders get a chance to perform on stage, fully produced, using professional designers, directors, uh, and choreographers. So that part is absolutely wonderful for the kids to, that want to be on stage. But we also have a tech academy for those kids that mm -hmm. want to be backstage. Right. So there's a place for every, for every there kid. There is a place. Yeah, yeah and Jean, you do such a great job and your role at, at the Orlando Repertory Theater and, and the rep does such a great job with children's theater. But tell us, you know, why are you passionate about children's theater or why does the rep feel like children's theater is important? Why, why do we have to capture them at that young age? What well, and it's, I, I believe that most people know that uh, when they think back on their own experiences, Many people will tell you and pinpoint exactly the first time they were in a theater. Uh, whether it's dance, they, they say, oh, I, I saw the Nutcracker. And that uh, started a lifelong love of dance. Mm. At the theater, it's the same thing. The kids go to the theater and they get a chance to see how they fit into the world. Mm -hmm. Because in the plays, there's, there's always some challenge to overcome. Mm -hmm. And kids get to vicariously see and hear. They, can, they, they get a chance to watch how they resolve issues mm -hmm. and how they might uh, deal with that in life. Mm -hmm. So, but it's storytelling and, and that's what I think that's what we need to, to make sure that we continue to provide to the kids. Parents can read a book, but seeing an actor with, with the real passion and When I emotion. saw the freckle face strawberry. Yes. That was so adorable. <laughs> and this little girl was being ostracized, but I remember hearing kids go, oh, and I'm thinking that's empathy. Mm. Absolutely. They get that, uh, and, and freckle face is, is, <laughs> is that uh, at the end we learn it's the things that are different about us mm. that make each of us special. Mm -hmm. And what a great message mm -hmm. for the kids. But let me go back to the pillars. We talked about the Youth Academy and our productions. We also have a relationship with the University of Central Florida. Mm. 
There's a graduate program for TYA, Theater for Young Audiences, that is focused on training and developing tomorrow's leaders in that field. And these graduate students uh, have an opportunity like no other university in the country, there's only about six programs anyway, but this one, they actually get to work with, with, with children in, in the theater. Uh -huh. But I think uh, in some ways, uh, something near and dear to all of us and we think is extremely important is our community engagement. Mm. That's your fourth pillar? That's our fourth pillar. Uh -huh. That fourth pillar where we go out and uh, uh, we try to make sure that those kids, those underserved kids, also get the same benefits of that. Uh, you mentioned working with home, uh, Coalition with the Homeless at one point? Absolutely. Way? Coalition for the Homeless is, uh, uh, when you meet those kids, mm -hmm. they, they identify themselves as being homeless. They feel, they feel that defines them. Mm -hmm. And by going in there and we get to work with those, those young people, and we make sure they realize that is only a temporary situation because there's so much more to you mm. than, than the fact that, that, that you're, you're having a period of, of, of not having all the things you need or want. Mm. I don't know if I ever told you this or not, but I did children's theater for a little while at the Nat Horn on 42nd Street. That does not surprise me. <laughs> But I remember our director was so passionate. He was like, "You're changing lives." You, you would always say, "You're changing lives." Yeah, arts is really, really a catalyst to change lives. Oh, I mean, it, it, we, like you were saying, you learn so much more as a child through the arts, just social skills and all of those things, and how to deal with confrontation. Why do you think arts education is important? I mean, we talked about the theater aspect of it, but just educating kids. Why do you? Well, arts education, of course, I believe in all all forms of uh, arts education. It's uh, uh, one of my favorite things is that uh, <clears throat> think about one person with nothing more than their hands and their eyes in front of a group of middle school students, mm. getting them all to do one thing together, mm. Mm. an orchestra making beautiful music, mm. nonverbal communications, mm -hmm. that epitomizes mm -hmm. it. I'm, I, I, we are just about out of time, but before we go, I. There's two things I want to ask you. One, if you were to give people one reason to come to Orlando Rep, what would it be? Uh, it's uh, quality. With the, it's always about making sure that our patrons have the best possible experience, the quality of our productions, mm -hmm. and this amazing, remarkable group of committed uh, theater uh, professionals that want to make sure that the patrons have the best time ever and right. want to come back. So again. now they want to go, they want to kind of come, <laughs> but how do they find out about Orlando Rep? What's the best well, way? Well, if, if most everybody now goes to, go, goes online and we're at www.orlandorep.com. Easy to find us and we're right in Lock Haven Park. Come on down, visit us. We'd love to see you there. <laughs> Gene, thank you for telling us all about the Rep. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. When we come back, we're going to learn more about Gene the Man and his passions for the art. From the heart. With a capital A-R-T.